Good evening. It's 5.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. Well, let's have a review of Litecoin. I've kind of stumbled onto something I think people might find of interest. Uh, I keep hearing that we're going to go parabolic soon. And everybody goes, well, when are we going to reach our key prices? I said, well, the best way to do it is to go and compare yourself to another time it went parabolic. And we all remember, you know, the last months of 2017. As I was watching the price range, I noticed, hey, there's a big dip over here that just happened. You see it right here. And I remembered, wait a minute, I, I've seen something like this before. And I specifically remember 2017 because I made quite a bit of money. So I said, okay, let's take a look at the price ranges on 2017. That parabolic, you know, par parabolic run, let me spit it out. And our current situation. And I went back in and, uh, you know, you know, you do a price search, and lo and behold, uh, we were running a couple of days around 90. We took a dip. This would coincide what's happening today, right now, at this moment. We'll be down in the 80, 84 range, right? Tomorrow, we would recover. So I went and looked at... <coughs> that parabolic range the prices for the day and they said okay I'll go back to October 31st and if you notice we're actually out we're going up faster than 2017 and you can easily see that if you go back off this dip that we're currently seeing here after we were in the 90 range. You can see the dip. The dip is ha happening now as we speak. By tomorrow, if it continues to follow the trend, we should be back in this area of 90, 90 plus dollars. The number of days between today and the high mark is 19 days. So what I'm seeing is the same play, but we're running different yards, different dates in this case. And right now, we're here, we're taking our dip. You see, we only breached the 90s here. Tomorrow should be recovery, and the next day after, we should start climbing. But what since and we're actually when you look at these numbers and you pull a chart from 2017 into our current chart you will actually see if you base this from the 23rd and you align these dates this being the 23rd and go down we are actually outperforming the price gain from 2017 and the prices are around the same area but they're going up faster so, I think what's going to happen, if you follow my chart here, my reasoning, my deductive reasoning, is since we're here now, we're taking our dip, <coughs> within 19 days as of now, which would be December 18th, which translates into our new bull run into June 11th our time this year and I will show you that coincides with June 11th 352 dollars so I actually think we're gonna we're, we're already going up fast <coughs> faster if you do a day-to-day -day com price comparison and I do think that we're going to exceed the price that's over there for December 18th, which is our June 11th. 
It looks like to me they're running the same play on a different field. All the same plays at a different time. So this is very interesting. People should take a look at this. You don't have to believe me. Go to Taunt Coin Telegraph, pull out the historical list of prices. <coughs> <coughs> I went back actually down into the nineties. I went back six days to see where we're at. We were down over here on this chart, we're down in the seventies. And our actual time frame, we're in the eighties. Eighty dollars, not seventy dollars. So we're actually <coughs> outperforming the last bull run by 10%. So I would say $380. It's realistic within 19 days. That's an opinion, but that's how it looks when you do uh, a parallel uh, <coughs> comparison of one bull run to another. It's just that the, the time frame is different, but the numbers match and as you know and the price increases. But in this case, when you compare this bull run to the 2017 bull run, we're actually at an accelerated pace now. All right people, tell me what you think.